For the last several years, I've been analyzing the ammo companies uh, really closely, uh, quite honestly, specifically the U.S. Army uh, Lake City Ammo Plant and kind of what they're up to. Um, I make a ton of videos on this stuff, mostly because I think it affects us, what they do specifically. And there was something that is fascinating that they're actually going to do beginning now is spending $50 million on AI help. Let's put it that way. And let's talk about that for a second. Uh, they're going to use artificial intelligence to help their ammo production process. Now, it's not just the small arms ammunition plant in Lake City Ammo. It's all of the munitions are going to be using AI for a couple reasons. Number one, they're going to be using artificial intelligence to enhance and improve their machining process. Uh, this is something that the Munition Command Central has decided that they're going to do this. And all of the U.S. Army plants, ammunition plants, is incorporate artificial intelligence to improve the efficiency and the effectiveness of uh, the machinery that they're using to make the ammo. Uh, this is something that they just announced a week ago, um, and they all agreed to it, and it's going forward. Now, in addition to that, they're also going to be using artificial intelligence to, the way they put it was uh, ultrasound and x-ray, the ammo that comes through to test it without testing it. Essentially, being able to take artificial intelligence and analyze each bullet or each missile or each shell or whatever the case may be um, internally and really kind of improve quality control through that process. Um, and those are the two major artificial intelligence that the U.S. Army is going to be incorporated in their ammo production. And again, it's going to affect the shells, it's going to affect the small arms, all of it. Now, with that being said, I do believe this is something that could be good and could be bad depending on how it plays out and how good this artificial intelligence is. For example, if it's enhancing the machining process, uh, will that slow down production? Will it improve production? Uh, will it alter production? You know, because right now what you have is you have the Lake City Ammo Plant demolishing buildings to build new facilities. So will it have a cause and effect of making them think, oh, well, now we need to kind of stop this production and improve it and change it in, you know, whatever way that artificial intelligence is telling us to improve or change it. In addition to that, when they're scanning ammo, what does that do? If they come across a shell uh, that artificial intelligence doesn't like, uh, what does that do to that whole crop of shells? Like what happens at that point as well? And, and I think these are something that only time will be able to tell us, but what we do know for sure is that starting now, the U.S. Army is using artificial intelligence to scan their machining process to make it more effective and more efficient. In addition, they're using artificial intelligence to kind of ultrasound, x-ray the ammo and really analyze its effectiveness, uh, analyze the safety aspect of it, uh, that sort of thing. But uh, what they'll do with it, because I, I just, as we see artificial intelligence kind of taking over certain realms, to some degree, I think there, when it comes to ammo production, you can't replace the human aspect of that. And I hope that it's not going to do that either. And kind of what I mean is, I don't mean there'll still be people working in the plant, but if it's second guessing their decisions, I don't know where that takes us, if that's if that's makes sense. So uh, there you go. U.S. Army adding artificial intelligence to their ammo production for machining purposes, as well as analyzing the uh, ammo itself. So uh, there you go. Any thoughts or insights, especially if you have any insight on that, put that below. Do want to take a moment so most people watch the channel. Hey, they're not subscribers. Click that subscribe button. Greatly increases the algorithm and our ability to get these messages out. That link is below.
But the most important part of this channel is we take prayer requests. So please don't ever hesitate to send that in. Thank you for watching this episode of God, Family, and Guns. And as always, love God, love your family, love guns. Thank you.